Hello, John. Hello, Albert. Today we're going to talk about a baby that was that was an attempt at abortion in Poland. The abortion went wrong, and the baby survived, and apparently it was left to die, That's screaming. Right. Uh, this is an item that was reported in uh, the Catholic Voice magazine and it was written by a, a lady called Cassia Fio, Fiano Cheshire, C-H-E-S-S-E-R. Uh, it was about a baby uh, that survived a botched abortion at 24 weeks. Uh, it says uh, uh, do doctors and medical staff at Holy Family, the word Holy Family Hospital in Warsaw, Poland, that's the capital of Poland, left a child to die after a botched abortion, according to local media reports detailing the horrific scene. The baby was born on March 7, 2016, three years ago, at 24 weeks after an abortion failed. The child cried and screamed for an hour before dying, according to witnesses as reported on Republica television. Medical personnel did not try to help the child in any way. A hospital spokesman for this hospital, Dorota, that's a Polish name, a whole lot of words, explained that a patient at the end of the 20th week of pregnancy came to the hospital and our medical test suggested the baby, suggested the baby had Down syndrome. The hospital claimed that everything that happened thereafter was according to the law and medical procedure. The dignity of the patient and the dignity of the fetus. Once you see that word fetus described, you can be quite sure they're not treating it as a child. We're expecting she continued. Well, that's not the attitude of the media in Poland, which has criticised that hospital, and I presume uh, the staff in that hospital would probably be dismissed and not allowed to practice medicine thereafter because Poland, uh, because of their experience being persecuted by the Nazis and uh, uh, priests executed, including Saint uh, Martin Colby that uh, was executed in, uh, in, in a concentration camp in Auschwitz uh, when he took the place of a married man uh, with children and that man survived. Uh, and, and took the play and was executed. Uh, he wasn't the only Polish priest executed. There was hundreds of Polish priests executed by the, by the Nazis and subsequently by the communists. Uh, the communists have a, a terrible record in Poland and Hungary. Uh, but regard to uh, Poland, so Poland come from uh, the Catholic uh, Church and uh, the practice of the Catholic faith was prohibited and they were persecuted and this is in recent times so they naturally are now very strong Catholics and are against abortion and all these other evils that was imposed on them by the communists and the Nazis the German Nazis so uh, they respect life uh, from conception to natural death irrespective of how it comes about they make no exceptions uh, but they're under pressure from the EU, which is a godless organisation, uh, think that uh, they can do without God and they will pay the price for that. Uh, they're trying to instruct uh, uh, Poland to bring in abortion and call it um, health, women's health. Which yes. is, uh, in, in, in Poland you have the new citizen bill which actually protects uh, the baby, the life of the unborn. 450,000 signatures supported as opposed to the pro-abortion side which have about 215,000. So it looks like Poland is on course to be being a place that um, protects the baby, the, pro the unborn. The pro-abortion crowd mightn't even have that figure that you just mentioned. Uh, the figures uh, of the pro-abortion are uh, probably more like 10% but they have the influence of the media and the various uh, anti-Catholic bigots that seem to have the say in a lot of uh, media outlets, TV, radio and perhaps newspapers. But the numbers are small. I don't believe even 215,000, irrespective of what they say. Uh, the fact is the majority of people respect life because when you're born, you know that you were conceived as a, as a baby by your mother and father. Now, so therefore that's how you come into the world. Why should another child that is liable to come into the world be denied life? Why should a poor child that has a handicap 
Down syndrome or so. Why should they be denied life? They can contribute an awful lot to life. They can be a joy for people. Uh, they can be a cross for some people. But the fact of the matter is, uh, they bring they bring peace to a home where they're respected and where they're looked after. So. Uh, um, what Poland is doing, other countries should do, uh, especially this country that was persecuted for their faith for, for hundreds of years in the penal times. And here they voted for abortion to their eternal shame. Uh, even if they confess their sins, they still, they're still have acquiesced in the, in the mother of innocent children, which is what it is. Uh, they refuse to call uh, uh, evil uh, by its proper name and trying to uh, indoctrinate like a totalitarian regime uh, uh, people who have uh, fundamental beliefs in the sanctity of life from conception to natural death. So Poland is respecting that likewise Hungary. Hungary was, a, was also persecuted by the communists and the Nazis. Uh, so much so that one of their cardinals, Cardinal Mancetti, uh, was tortured and persecuted by the communists and jailed for life in Hungary in 1948. When Hungary had a uprising in 1956, which was crushed by the communists, the Russian communists, uh, he, is, he was allowed to escape and he got sanctuary in the US embassy uh, in, in Budapest where he had to stay for 11 years before he was allowed to leave. Now, that's the communists, that's the totalitarian regime uh, that uh, Poland was saddled with and now we're saddled with it as well. A totalitarian regime that's bringing in all sorts of evil and calling it rats. They can't distinguish between right and wrong. So we support Poland. We support any country that bans abortion in any shape, way or form and bans other um, reprehensible practices that are against the, uh, the, the uh, uh, reason and the natural law. Thank you very much, John. Thank you very much, Oliver.